All right, so today we're going to talk about layers. And what were layers? Anyone remember? I kind of briefly talked about them last week. Uh, a layer is a type of drawing? Yeah, the, the type of lines that we're using. <clears throat> so in mechanical, we have visible lines, we have hidden lines, we have center lines, we have dimension lines, we have text. So that, we make layers for each of those things, and with that we can control a lot of stuff about those lines. Maybe if you're doing architecture, you might do a layer for walls, and a layer for the electrical, and a layer for the, for the plumbing, and for the HVAC, and you look at this book, it's a nice little book, telling you how to name all those layers and what the property should be and stuff like that. A whole book on how to name your layers for architecture. <clears throat> so, and you can also do it for anything else, uh, any other things like construction lines or um, when I was working at one job, <clears throat> we would do all the parts put together. And so for each part we'd have two layers. We'd have a hidden layer and a visible layer for each part on that assembly. So we can take that into smaller drawings and turn off all the other parts and leave just the one that we wanted to work with. <clears throat> so to get to layers, we go to the layer panel. If we click here, you can see all the layers that we have. Right now we just have the zero layer. The zero layer is one that we don't want to draw on. There's some, some special uses we'll talk about later, but for the most part you don't want to draw on the zero layer. You don't use it. Yeah. For, for example, say uh, I, I doodled something there, and I want to make that a layer. What would I, I tab, tab yeah. a layer? And yeah, we'll make a new layer, and then you just change it over to it. So we're going to talk about that right now, too. Okay. So I'm going to go here to layers. This little box right here. That brings up this. If you open it, it shows that. It shows the filters. Just click on this little arrow right here. that will hide all the filters. We're not doing that, we just want to see all the layers. And you can see we have the zero layer. We can tell whether it's on or off, whether it's frozen or thawed, it's locked or not, the color, the line type, the line weight, uh, the plot style, oops. This is something that you don't want to see. If you open a drawing and you see it's a color and it's grayed out like that, it means you're in the wrong template. We're going to not be using the standard template. We're going to switch it over. So we're going to close this. I'm just going to exit there. Say no. And I'll do new. I'm going to do ACAD name plot styles. And when we get into doing tile blocks, I'll give you a tile block that's set up correctly. Um, go here. So now you can see it has a plot style. It says normal. This gives you a lot more control over how things print. So the plot style is kind of. Back in the old days when we had the pen plotters, <clears throat> that would tell us, because our color would determine what pen it used when it drew. And so it would have a thick pen and a thin pen, and it's controlled by whatever color our layer was. But we don't need to do that anymore because we've got nice laser printers and color lasers and everything. <clears throat> so going to the, the name plot styles is a lot better way to manage how it prints than the color dependent plot style, which is the standard. So. We're doing name plot style. This is the better way. Because now I can have some layers, even if they're in have a color, they'll print nice dark black. They're going to have other layers that'll print in color. And I have on one layout, everything prints black. Another layer, some of the things print in color. Well, most of it prints black. Or another layout where everything prints in color. So just by changing what this says on each layout, I can control it a lot better than the, the old way. So that's why we're going to use named plot styles. <clears throat> but still we have on, freeze, lock, color, line weight, line type, <clears throat> whether or not it's going to print. So I'm just going to go make a new layer. So I, I copied everything from the one above it. And I'm just going to do the standard mechanical one. So object. I hit it to enter again. Have it selected. Hit enter again. I need to 
just kind of keep doing that just by having it selected and hit, hitting there twice, it creates a new one. So I can go to color. So I'm going to go to dimension one. Look at that. And see, I've got kind of the main colors here and then about a bunch of other colors. So usually we use these colors first before we start using other ones. So now I want to pick red. Okay. Hit in. Yellow. Center. You can see when I pick on that, it has a number. That relates to what the old pin number was. Yeah. Yeah, what's the password for this computer? Yeah, are you on the blue screen? Yeah. It's AutoCAD. <clears throat> so I got that. So then the line weight. So how thick do I want the line to be when it prints out? Usually we want we want some difference between our line weights. So anyone know what they should be? Or which line should be thicker and which one's thinner? So our object line, that's kind of the, the outside of the part. Oops. We go to line weight. Line weight, I'm kind of skipping over line type right now. So the object, we want it to be like 0 0.6. 0 0.6 millimeters. All these other ones, see I can just kind of pick down here, do a window to select them. Now when I change this, it's going to change all three of those at the same time. Say OK. Now all of those are 0.3. You know, that'll be thinner, that'll be thicker. I go to the line type. I'm going to pick on the line type for hidden. And I don't want the hidden line to be a solid line. I want it to be a dashed line. So I go to load. Come down to hidden. Pick hidden 2. OK. Pick on it. OK. Good. Go to center, just do the same thing. One. Load. Center two. Center two. You can see now it's got the line type. It's got line weights. <clears throat> so I can kind of see how I'm grouping it. I, I want to print. If you don't want something to print, you can tell it here. Just If I don't want that layer to print, I can just do that. Why would I want a layer not to print? Yeah, I don't want it to overlap something, but then I can also just turn it off. <clears throat> What's another? Let's say you're working in a team with other other people using the same drawing. Maybe you work different shifts. Why would you use a layer that doesn't print? Because maybe they're in charge of something different. Yeah, to give them a note. Because you have a layer that's like notes. And you can use that layer to, to make notes on the drawing. And you never have to worry about turning that on or off. It's just, you hit print, and that layer is not going to print out. So the boss isn't going to see it. But you guys that are doing it can see, see what you're doing. You can leave notes for each other, uh, or notes for yourself even. <coughs> uh, like, what was he thinking? Stuff like that. <laughs> the boss usually does not use AutoCAD. I've never had a boss in how to use AutoCAD. <coughs> um, so then we have these ones. So on and off, off on and off, and freeze and thaw. Let's go and create some stuff first. So if I want to change the layer that I'm drawing on, right now I'm drawing on the zero layer. If I pick here, I pick on object. See now it shows object. So now everything I do will be on the object layer. I'm just going to draw a line. I'll draw another one like that. If I pick here and change the layer, now hidden. Now when I do a line, the layer, that line is hidden. And you can see the dashes in there. Here I can't really see it. But if you look at my units down here, I'm out really far. So I'm just going to erase those and zoom back in and make something more reasonable. That, 12 inch line. Also, you don't really need to worry about what your lines look like here in model space. As long as it's on the right layer, when you get to the layout and you zoom it, 
That's when it matters. Because it's always going to scale according to the layout. You can't really see that. Change that to like blue. So if I zoom in on it, type regen. RE is regenerate. And it tells AutoCAD to go through and recalculate everything. <coughs> and so now you can see it scaled the line back down. So if ever you do something and AutoCAD just doesn't look right, type RE. It'll go through regenerate. So sometimes circles will start looking like polygons. Just type RE, it'll be a circle again. <clears throat> change that back to. You can see just by going there and clicking on the color, it will change the color of that whole layer. No matter how many things are on that layer, it's all going to change. are on the object player. And also if I pick on it, watch what happens. If I pick on it up here now it changes and shows me what layer that's on. So if I want to change that line to a center line, I pick on it, I go here, I pick center, and pick escape. You can see it's changed to a center line now. So that's how you switch things. You just you draw it, if you want to change it, pick on it, then pick the new layer. So I can go in here, you can see I have the on off, the freeze, the lock. So locking it, if I lock the object player, now I can't do anything. Put the mouse over it, it gives me a little lock icon. I can't do anything to that geometry. If I said move and I picked everything, that's going to stay still. I can't do anything to it. You can also, on a fly out, you can control that and make it fade out. It's kind of fading out now. So, so if you want something there to kind of look at but not be real bright, you can lock it and then fade it out. So you can kind of see where it is, but it's not overwhelming. And just unlock it again. If I turn it off, or I freeze it, Looks like the same thing, right? Turn it off, freezing. Looks like it's doing the same thing. You want to know what the difference is? You want to read that? When you turn it off, it just doesn't show it. When you freeze it, AutoCAD forgets about it for a little while. And so, back when computers were really slow, <clears throat> if you had too much stuff, it would start slowing down. So you'd freeze it and it'd speed back up because now AutoCAD wasn't having to keep track of all that stuff. Now it's not such a big thing, kind of use them the same. <clears throat> One difference is if, if your current layer, so my current layer, if I try and lock, turn off the current layer, it's going to tell me this. I'm going to turn it off. I can still draw things. Oh, why isn't that going? I want circles. I turn it back on, they're all there. So, that, so if you're turning the layers on and off, or you try and draw something and nothing happens, check and make sure your layer is turned on. If you freeze it, it will not let you freeze the current layer. It won't let you change to a layer that's frozen. So that's that's really the only difference now. Uh, that If it's off, you can still draw on the layer. Just not really nice to do that. It's good to see what you're doing. <coughs> The guy next to you keeps cheating off you, and you know what you're doing, you can turn off the layer and draw, get it all done, turn it back on, I'm done drawing. No one laughed. It's after lunch, I'm like, dead. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, any questions on layers? Yep. About how many layers can you make? As many as you can fit on the thing. I don't know, enough to fill this book. I don't know how many there's in here. I don't do architecture, so I don't know all of these. A lot. I don't think there is a limit. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, it just won't let me log in. So. All right. Uh,
Here's that, that one I told you about. We designed the whole thing on one. So here's our list of layers. So like I can do this and pick out something. send the drawing to someone else to do. We did the, the model, the design, send it off to someone else to do the drawings. And so we wanted everything to be together. This way we could make sure everything fit. We could send it to them. They could use extras, which we'll talk about later, to pull these off, pull the parts off, and do all the part drawings. <clears throat> and then we, if we wanted to make an update, we just sent them this one file with the changes, and all their files would update. <clears throat> Some places like to do each part of the drawing, and they bring the parts back in together into the assembly. So it kind of depends on how, how the company wants to work. In mechanical, there's not really one set way. There's not really one set way in architectural either. They kind of do whatever. Each, but each company kind of has its, its way. And even though these are standard layers for architecture, they're not necessarily always followed. In a mechanical, we just kind of have basic layers, or we'll do stuff like that. Yeah. So, for example, and to, to extrapolate on that, the drawers themselves are also three-dimensional. Yeah. Uh, would, would the so, face of the drawer possibly so be a layer? So here's the drawer. We have a drawer face layer. Mm -hmm. You can see the, the layer name is drawer face. We have a drawer front. We have the drawer, the drawer side. So if you look at the top view, we have the side of the drawer, we have the front of the drawer, we have the bottom of the, or that's the pedestal. The guide. But here's the, the writing board. So we had different layers for everything. And then we had the frame underneath. So we kind of, we use layers for each part. Um, here's our template that we're going to use in this class. It's on the V40 drive for a, I didn't fix that. And these are the layers we're going to use. The most stuff we're going to do is mechanical. Um, I still need to do the architectural template for people that want to do an architectural problem, problem later. But we're just going to have center, construction, dimension, hidden, object, text, title block, and viewport. This def points one, that's one that automatic, AutoCAD automatically makes for you when you add dimensions. You don't put anything on it. Just leave that one alone. Don't put anything on it. That, that layer never prints. Even though it has a printer icon on it. Now you can see the printer icon is grayed out. That layer never prints, ever. Before they gave us this, we put stuff on that layer. But now that layer never prints. So just leave it alone. We can turn off other layers so they don't print. So you really shouldn't be needing to make a whole lot of things. Uh, yeah, I actually changed that line type. Wax. I think I was messing around with stuff. I think on the, the video I was doing it. <coughs> and so your layer line types can actually be all kinds of stuff. Like they can say gas or hot water or whatever. So it's not just lines and dashes. You can actually have letters and stuff. You can actually make your own line types. 
and that'll be in the, the 48B class of it if you want to do that. Make your own line types and things. So any questions on layers? So should you draw on the zero layer? No, not yet. When we get to something else later on, then I'll tell you when it's okay. And depending on how you want to do it, yes or no. Uh, so what layer do you think you should draw most of your stuff on once we get to using this, which will be next week? Object. So most of your drawings and stuff will be on the object layer, unless I have already have it on a different layer. Okay? And I'll go over that some more once we get to that, that stuff. 